Good day. I'm here to talk to you about the energy efficiency and conservation policy uh, for this uh, energy efficiency and conservation bootcamp. Uh, thank you for joining us today. The outline of my presentation will cover uh, the following, the scope of the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Act, the concept of designated establishments, the Interagency Energy Efficiency and Conservation Committee or the IAEECC, energy performance and energy labeling, the certification and professional competency and accreditation for professional services, demand side management or DSM, fiscal and non-fiscal incentives, and the guidelines on energy conserving design on buildings. Now the scope, the Energy Efficiency or Conservation Act, uh, otherwise known as Republic Act 11285, institutionalizes energy efficiency and conservation, enhances the efficient use of energy, and grants incentives to energy efficiency and conservation projects. It is a three-decade long process for us to reach, and since the issuance of the President last uh, May 2019, we have issued the implementing rules and guidelines uh, effective last December. We're looking forward to completing the 31 guidelines and codes required under the law in the coming uh, months. Now for the designated establishments concept, this would be your private or public entities in the commercial, industrial, and transport as well as the other sectors that we have identified as energy intensive industries. There are three types. Uh, the first one is type 1 designated establishments referring to their annual energy consumption of 500,000 kilowatt hours to 4 million kilowatt hours. Then for type 2, uh, these would have an annual energy consumption of above 4 million kilowatt hours. And then again, we do have other designated establishments or those whose consumption, annual energy consumption, ranges from 100,000 kilowatt hours to 500,000 kilowatt hours. Memorandum Circular 2020-05-001, uh, issued on May 13 this year, provides for the guidelines uh, in the compliance with the reportorial requirements, uh, including the adjustment to submission due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The obligations under MC 2020 -05001 include the submission of annual energy consumption and conservation reports to the DOE, the designation of an energy conservation officer for type 1 designated establishments, or the designation of an energy manager for type 2 designated establishments. These are all in accordance with the previously mentioned annual energy consumption thresholds for the classification of designated establishments. Now for the Interagency Energy Efficiency and Conservation Committee, this was established uh, to evaluate and approve government energy efficiency projects and provide strategic direction in the implementation of the Government Energy Management Program, or GEMP. The department order for this was signed uh, on January 9, 2020. And since then, the IACC has been meeting on a quarterly basis. On energy performance and energy labeling, you may be familiar with the old yellow labels. Uh, under this law, it is now mandated that the Philippine Energy Labeling Program, or PELP, requires manufacturers, importers, and dealers of energy-consuming products to attach an energy label on their products to inform consumers about the energy performance and efficiency of the said products. The pertinent guidelines here would be your DC 2020-060015 or the PELP guidelines and the Department Circular DC 2020-060016 for the Minimum Energy Performance for Products MEPP Guidelines, both issued last January, June 15, 2020. For certification and accreditation of professional competence and services, the certification for the professional competency includes the professional practice for an energy 
conservation officer or CECO if you're certified, the energy manager or CEM, as well as the energy auditor. This is sub was subject of public consultations and awaiting the issuance uh, hopefully later this year. We also like to tell you that we are working with the TESDA for the development of training regulations and training modules uh, under a memorandum of agreement and for the development of said uh, programs to trigger for the certified energy conservation officers. Likewise, uh, the Department Circular DC number 2020-09018 on the guidelines in the Administration, Classification, and Certification for Energy Service Companies or ESCOs has been issued as of September 9, 2020. On the concept of demand side management, this will be a program for our ele electric power industry participants for the reduction of energy consumption through effective load management, uh, which will result to a decrease in power demand. Essentially, it is the migration of power demand from peak to off-peak periods. Now for incentives, which incidentally will be subject of uh, continuing public consultations. The DOE is doing the consultations for the procedural, procedural mechanism on the evaluation of energy efficiency projects for endorsement to the Board of Investments. Uh, there is one scheduled for tomorrow. Uh, hope you will be able to join us for that one. There are also other incentives apart from the fiscal incentives uh, mentioned uh, with the Board of Investments. Uh, this would include uh, recognition awards uh, as well as the availment of energy audit services and other various briefings and seminars conducted by the DOE. For the guidelines on energy conserving design for buildings, uh, the revised guidelines were developed through the assistance technical assistance provided by the European Union Access to Sustainable Energy Program, EU ASAP, which is subject of ongoing public consultations. The draft guideline states that it will be harmonized with the existing Philippine Green Building Code or PGBC of the Department of Public Works and Highways. And with that, I end my presentation. Um, it covers just an overview of all of the topics here should you have any specific questions on any of these policies we'll be more than happy to address them in the question and answer portion of this presentation or this activity again thank you and uh,